Hello everyone, we are going to talk about isothermal transformation. So how to calculate the work, the heat, uh, the internal var energy variation for isothermal transformation. First of all, isothermal transformation means that the temperature is constant. So if the temperature is constant, so what is the temperature? What is the physical definition of the temperature? The temperature is related to the interactions of molecules in the very small scale. So if the temperature is constant, then delta U is constant. I'm going to explain why. So that is something that you have to know because uh, the internal energy variation so is directly related to the microscopic scale. What is the internal energy? The internal energy is the energy of the particles in the very, uh, as I said, uh, small scale. So it can be vibrations, rotations, translations, collisions, all these things that are in the microscopic world. But if you want to have an idea about what is going on in this very microscopic scale, in your scale, so in the macroscopic scale, the indicator to know what is going on in the, uh, in the interactions of the molecules is the temperature. The temperature is an indicator that gives us information about what is going on in the microscopic scale. So if you have no variation of temperature, the temperature is directly related to the internal energy. So if there is no variation of temperature, the variation of internal energy is zero as well. So this is the physical uh, uh, sense behind this equation. So once we understand that, we can then use the first law of thermodynamics. So first law, delta U is equal to work plus heat. But in our case, we said that delta U is zero. So it means that the work is equal to minus the heat. So finally, if I calculate one of both, I have the other. I just have to add the minus and that's it. So let's calculate the work. The work. So as you remember, what is the definition of the work? If you want to talk about the elementary work, GW, it is minus PGV. So this is the definition of the work, the general definition of the work in thermodynamics. So how to calculate the work if we are in the specific case of isothermal transformation? We are going to use this general formula and we are going to integrate. So the work is the integration of minus PGV. So now it's interesting because you have the variable of integration that is the volume but in the same time you have another function inside of your integration that is the pressure that is not constant be careful we are not in isobaric case we are in isothermal case so the pressure is not necessarily constant and it means that we need to express the pressure in terms of the volume let's imagine in mathematics if you have a integration that is involving y uh, in the function, for example, if you have 5y uh, dx and you want to integrate this, this is not possible like that because the variable of integration is x. So you necessarily need to express y in terms of x and replace it in your integration. Does that make sense? So you will have, for example, in mathematics, a formula that is going to be in terms of x and then dx and now you can make your primitive and your integration because you replace the y by the formula that was depending on x so now it's the same process we want to express the pressure in terms of the volume so that you have a function of volume inside of our integration and, ha and we have the gv so we'll be able to integrate so how to express p in terms of v so P needs in terms of V.
So in order to express P in terms of V, we are going to use the law of perfect gas. So the perfect gas law says that PV equals nRT. So if we have that, all we need to do is to say that P is equal to nRT over V. And that being said, we can directly replace this inside of our integration. So why can we directly uh, replace? Because n is a constant, r is a constant, t is a constant here because it's isothermal transformation. And v is our variable that we need to integrate. So it works, we just need to replace. So let's replace. So once I do that, I can take out all the constants from my integration. So I will have this as the temperature, as we said, is a constant. Don't forget we are in isothermal situation. And then we just have 1 over V dV, which is something that we are able to integrate. We are used to this kind of equations. So it's just the primitive that we need to do here. And what's the primitive of 1 over x in mathematics? It's ln of x. But we don't have x, we have v. So we come back to the physics and we uh, replace x by v in our mind, of course. So now we are going to, uh, to write the results. So it's going to be minus nRT. Primitive of LNV So now you need to specify the boundaries actually you need to do this from the beginning of the integration So what are the boundaries here? They are the volume of your system So from the initial situation to the final situation so you will have v1 for initial situation and v2 for final situation and actually, you better write this from the beginning, like that. Okay, so then I just uh, make the difference between both. As you remember in mathematics, when you have uh, the difference of ln A and ln B, for example, then this is equal to the ratio, to the ratio of both. Of both, sorry. So let's write this. For this uh, step, what I was using is this mathematical law. Another law that I'm going to use now is the fact that when you have ln of minus ln of a over b, this is equal to ln of b over a. So these two rules, two mathematical rules, uh, rules I'm using them in my uh, process. So now I'm going to use the second one. I'm going to have nRT ln, and I reverse the ratio, v1 over v2. So here we go. This is the result uh, that we have for the work in isothermal situation. Something that you should know also is the fact that in isothermal case, you have by definition, uh, I mean, it's a definition, but it's something that is deduced actually from the perfect gas law. You have the fact that V1 over V2 is equal to P2 over P1. So you have this law and then you can also 
say that the work so that was the work obviously so the work is equal also to nrt ln of p2 over p1 just because you replaced uh, what is inside of the brackets so that being said now we have the work we also have the heat because as you remember in the beginning we said that the work is minus the heat so we have both we also have delta u as we said in the beginning it's zero and something interesting that you should know is the fact that for isothermal transformations we also have delta h the variation of enthalpy that is equal to zero so here we go this was um, the process for the calculation of the work the heat in isothermal situation.